In our constant search for inner peace, tranquility, self-realization and rejuvenation of the corroded mind, we traverse diverse paths and venture across different spheres of life. Yet, we never reach our goals. In a quiet and serene part of this world, there is an ashram where millions have discovered these very essences of life. The Avadhuta Dattapitam, widely known as Sri Ganapati Sachivananda Ashrama, stands as a symbol of spiritual, cultural and social welfare for all mankind. Tattreya Samarambham Rusimhadika Madhyamam Satchidananda Pariyantam Vande Guru Paramparam On 26th May 1942, a divine child smeared in ash was born to the devout couple of Jaya Lakshmi and Narasimha Shastri at Mekedatu, the confluence of the rivers Kaveri and Arkavati near Bengaluru in southern India. Except his mother, no one else knew that this child was an embodiment of Lord Dathatreya, he who represents the holy trinity of Hinduism, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. The child grew up absorbing divine visions, performing many miracles, transforming the lives of people and spreading happiness around him while still enduring the travails of mortal life. 24 years later, in the year 1966, as Sri Ganapati Satchidananda Swamiji, he walked into a mango grove at the foot of Chamundi Hill on the outskirts of Mysore city, which was to become the nucleus of all he preached and practiced. Mysore, as the cleanest city of India, steeped in cultural and royal heritage, complements the principles of the ashrama. Today, as we enter its sprawling campus, the sublime chanting of Vedic hymns and the sweet songs of a multitude of birds transport you to a different world. A world of greenery so enchanting that it makes you forget the mundane chorus of our daily rituals. A world where you can realize and reach the higher virtues of life. The ashrama captivates visitors from all walks of life ranging from rural folks to heads of state with its clean, serene and salubrious surroundings. Visitors have the opportunity to experience and indulge in rejuvenation of the mind and body here. Ayurvedic therapies, meditation, yoga, herbal bath at the Saptarishi pond, evening walks in the beautiful gardens, philosophical discourses, daily pujas, personal ceremonies and more importantly, the guidance of Sri Swamiji and his anointed successor, Sri Datta Vijayananda Tirtha Swamiji. A harmonious unity between man and nature can be felt as soon as you walk past the date of birth pillars, finding yourself surrounded by hundreds of lush bonsai trees and various healing herbs. Amidst these tranquil surroundings are the terracotta Mulikeshwara statue and the 45 feet tall octagonal monolith pillar, the Dharmadwaja, depicting the symbols of the world's religions, music, yoga and philosophy. Compassion to all living beings is the essence of the Pitam spiritual concept. A one of its kind tropical forest environment created painstakingly by experts from around the world houses thousands of spectacular birds. The Shukavana is a haven to many rare and endangered species providing medical treatment and rehabilitation in the hands of experienced veterinarians. The Universal Prayer Hall with the presiding deity of Lord Dathatreya attracts people from all faiths and plays a crucial role in emphasizing religious harmony. 
prayers, religious rituals, bhajans, discourses and other activities are conducted here with grandeur. It also provides an ideal place to practice deep meditation. Healthcare for all is the principle that drives the Peetham's Health Center. The SGS Hospital focuses on both the preventive and curative aspects of healthcare. A variety of services spanning allopathic, ayurvedic, homeopathic and other complementary systems including music, yoga, crystal, aroma and physiotherapy are provided by the hospital. The hospital conducts regular free medical camps for the detection and treatment of various diseases for the rural poor. The Kriya Yoga Center at the Ashram was established to impart scientific training in yoga for physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being to people across all strata. The magnificent Nada Mandapa with its huge capacity and state-of-the-art features is unique in many ways. This fan-shaped grand edifice dedicated to the cause of performing arts has played host to a variety of music and dance concerts of national and international repute. Swamiji has a divine gift and passionate love for music. His concept of music for meditation and healing has found worldwide following. He is a lyricist, composer, singer and musician. His concerts have been organized at some of the finest auditoria around the globe. Hundreds of his music albums have been published in the rarest of ragas, a true source of joy to thousands of listeners. Vedas, the oldest scriptures of Hinduism and a timeless repository of ancient wisdom are carefully nurtured and cultivated by the SGS Veda Patishala which provides preliminary to advanced higher education in Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Samaveda, Atharva Veda and the Shastras. It also trains people in Sanskrit from basic introductory courses to advanced courses in philosophy and literature. The SGS Veda Nidhi Academy and Masters Institute supports research students in writing thesis papers and publishes various books and guides on this rich culture and tradition. The library and multi-storied museum provides excellent resources and information to students and visitors alike. The magnificent Lord Venkateshwara Temple at the Ashram attracts thousands of devotees and immerses them in divine pulsating energy. The majestic 70 feet high monolith statue of Lord Hanuman is a sight to behold. The Avadutha Datta Peetham is involved in numerous other charitable endeavors including renovating ancient temples, supporting education, organizing free food, conducting mass marriages, donating rehabilitation aids, providing education for the hearing impaired and solace to destitute women. Its commitment to these core values of life has silently attracted the awe of people from around the world. And today, the Avadhuta Datta Peetham has 85 centers spanning five continents. 
Simple delivery of complex subjects is the speciality of the ashrams and it uses traditional and contemporary methods to communicate with its followers. Mobile apps such as SGS Posts, books published by the Raga Ragini Trust in several languages containing the discourses of the Swamiji. Bhakti Mala, the monthly magazine published since 1977 in six languages and several social media pages are a few of them. The Vasishta Karyalaya, the administrative block of the ashrama houses the professional volunteers who competently and effectively administer the range of charities and trusts run by this gigantic and worldwide organization. As the Peetham completes 50 golden years of service to mankind, its vision gathers strength from the vibrant energy of its millions of followers and thousands of volunteers who contribute tirelessly towards this noble cause. <laughs>